you mentioned Trilog tri before and uh, John mm -hmm. and uh, you know I, I listened today to Ri Life at the Royal Festival Hall and while well, playing with my 11 month old daughter and she loves rhythm you know and mm -hmm. we always play on pants and stuff and this is one of my favorite albums and you know it, it's such a beautiful album it starts with blue and green and you, you have such a nice solo there and like I mean just to summarize your experience playing with those two guys how, how was that like for you and if you remember the first concert, how was that like with that music? And... Yeah, uh, uh, it, it was actually scary for me, you know, it was not a comfortable experience. Mm. Uh, I'm really glad that it did um, turn into, you know, such nice recordings and everything. But I felt like I was not on the same level as John and Trelock when I joined the the trio. Um, I didn't even know that music like that existed. <laughs> sure. You know, like when I, I uh, auditioned uh, with John um, and he said that, yeah, you know, I'd like to try this out. Um, when I got the music, uh, I, I had to learn about art meters and fast playing fast like that you know and um in a way i i learned all the stuff with cassette tapes <laughs> and then uh we went to the rehearsal first rehearsal was not so good you know because i was kind of behind on a lot of things then i i had a period of six months where i practiced a lot you know right. and then uh there was a real improvement and then john was like okay let's do this we're gonna go on the road but then when we were in front of a live audience, the first show with this trio was in Reggio Emilia in ah, Italy. Um, wow, okay. Italy. And I, I got so frightened on stage because okay. the intensity in, in which Trilock was playing and also John was much different from the rehearsals. Mm. You know, uh, they were they were trickier, they were faster, there was adrenaline, you know, there was thousand people in the audience. And uh, I was hanging on to dear life, you know, I got through it somehow. But I had to concentrate so hard not to get lost, you know, and sometimes I would get lost and I had to look around to find where's one and jump yeah. back in. And so, you know, I think it took me like a, at least a year and a half to get to a place where I felt like now I'm really comfortable. So I think right at when we recorded live at the Royal Festival Hall, that was right when I started to feel comfortable. Not 100%, but... Mm, um, okay. Uh, yeah, so my inner experience was more difficult, you know, with, with this. Um, and then uh, later on, like in 1990, uh, at the end, you know, when, when I left the band, um, uh, I had a, um, a situation in the family where my foster father, he uh, was diagnosed with Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. You know, I was raised in a foster family mm -hmm. in, in Germany. And uh, um, that... Uh, was difficult because I would come home from tour and uh, he, he was living with my foster mom there too, both in their, in their mid eighties mm -hmm. and struggling, you know, to stay uh, together. And, you know, the, so I became kind of like a, a caretaker, you know, I started to uh, help out with the, you know, wheelchair, with hygiene, with doctors, appointments, all, you know, everything that needed to be done. And um, this really kind of like put me in another space. Mm -hmm. And John no noticed that something changed, you know, because I was I was uh, kind of a, a be I became like closed and withdrawn. And, you know, and this was the reason that I left the trio, you know, because mm -hmm. at one point, he, he wanted to know what's going on. And I told him, you know, that things are not good at home and um at that's the time that he was he he was like i have to look for a new bass player because you need to be home you know huh. and uh, um 
right the last gig I played with him I think it was in Hamburg or or Metz one of those two places either France or in Germany that's when I, I was playing the double neck bass at that point oh yeah 